goals. By not setting a time frame with action plans to achieve those goals, this also holds you back as well. It's okay if you say, yeah, I want to have a, a care agency, but what actions, what steps are you taking towards that goal? You wouldn't get in your car and just drive, would you? You'd have, you would know what steps you're taking or you're following a map that's gonna take you to your destination. Well, you need to do the same in terms of your healthcare business, getting that dream and following those steps and taking action and completing those tests those tasks that will enable you to get to your destination a lot faster than just just planning things from six months to to one year and then starting up again oh let me try and do this again you need to follow an action plan with time frames with dates to enable you to get to that dream of running your own healthcare business a lot sooner so one way of doing that is by creating your action plan Creating a calendar with dates and things that you need to do in able to you for you to be able to set up your healthcare company. So four ways for you to succeed in your healthcare business. Number one, think about this very carefully. Number one, you need to set a time frame. You need to have an action plan with goals for setting your healthcare business. So learn to walk before you can run. I see too often that people want a large contract. They're like, yeah, I want a large NHS contract, for example, but yet they haven't got the fundamental and they haven't got the proven track record that they have managed a service and that B, that they have ran a successful recruitment care agency with having smaller contracts that they're able to manage and then you can look at applying for the bigger contracts for your organization because you would have had a proven track record number two create a service for who you will be serving what age group what level of service will you be providing who are they what location will you be in for your business number three what organizations will you be approaching? Will it be the clinical commissioning teams known as CCGs? Will it be social services, for example? Will it be care homes, residential care homes? Will it be NHS hospitals? Will it be in the community? What organizations can you look at approaching to get working for your agency, for example. Number four, where will you do your office from? You can do this from home without paying for a rent office on a high street location. You just need to create the space within your home to be able to work from there and have that as your office. I've created a quick workbook for you to download it's just a short workbook for you to start creating a list of actions that you need to do in order to get your healthcare business up and running as quickly as possible. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please do like and subscribe, share to others that you feel that will benefit and do look out for more training.